Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make lumbi. Lumbi is a stew conch. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to put it together, but do not forget to follow me on my Instagram page. I do look forward to seeing you there. Hey guys, here's our conch. Our conch is nice and washed. You wash it with fresh lime juice and some cold water. Not hot water, cold water. Rinse it off thoroughly and they're good to go. And what I do is, when I get it from the store, I have them put it through a machine. See how you see the, uh, the slices in there like this? So this would help it cook a little faster. So the first thing I will do is add back in some of my lime juice. We're gonna put in some it piece. This is good. And then what I will add next is some paprika. Paprika. Go ahead and throw my thyme in there. I will add my a little bit of this um, chicken Maggie. It's non-GMO. This should be good. I mean, there's some people that says when you add the salt, it's gonna make it tough. <sighs> that it's it never got tough on me. Um, I'm gonna add some black pepper. I like to season in it, and then put it to boil until it's nice and tender. Then we're gonna add a few cloves in, like that. Some garlic powder, just a little bit like that. And then I will add some of my adobo. Adobo, just a little bit like that. And now I'll give it a quick mix. Smelling good. Once you stir it, if you want, you can let it marinate or you could just put it on the stove and add some water. But because I'm going to cook this on tomorrow, I'm going to just put it in the refrigerator and just let it sit until tomorrow morning. Then I'll put it to boil and I'll show you what it looks like then. All right, guys, our conch marinated. Um, what I did was just put it on the stove. What I will add now is a hot pepper. I'm not going to cut it because I don't want it spicy. I'll just add a little spice to it towards the end. And I will add some water in here like that. Just enough water. That's fine. Just like that. And we're going to let our conch cook. I like to let mine cook on maybe a medium um, low for about an hour to an hour and a half. If you notice the slices in there, it shouldn't take a um, long time to cook. Um, but when it's done, I'll show you what I do next. All right, guys. Here's our conch. It was boiling. Uh, for about an hour and 15 minutes. It's nice and tender. Okay, so what I will do now is I will remove this liquid. So this way I'll be able to give my uh, conch some color. So once I remove the liquid, I'll come back and show you how I give it. Alright guys, I separated my conch and here's the liquid that it boiled in. This is what we're going to use to make our sauce. But right here, I have some oil. What I will add to the oil is some tomato paste because we're gonna give our we're gonna give our lumpy color our pump. And what I'll do is just add a little bit of liquid, just a little bit like that. So our
also our tomato paste that start burning. So now what I would do at this point is add in my tomato paste. I'm sorry, my <laughs> I'm gonna turn my stove down just a little bit. And then we're just gonna mix this in like here. And you guys already know that every so often I will come in with some of my broth. I'm going to switch spoons so I can get some broth in here like that as I wait for it to color. And once it colors, so I won't have to scrape too much in your ears. So once it colors, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, it's, I'm still coloring it. So what I will do at this point is add some uh, seasoning salt. If you wish, you could just add just a little bit of salt, but I'm going to add seasoning salt. And give it a quick stir and just let it continue to color. The thing with conch is it has this its own uh, taste and it's a little sweet to the taste. So you have to add your salt in. So if you saw in the beginning, I put a little bit of maggie. I didn't put much salt. Mm, now it's perfect. The seasoned salt I add to it just, mm, my goodness, it gives it an awesome taste. So we're going to let it continue to color. And then I'll show you. All right, guys, our conch has a nice color now. So what I will do is add some of my vegetables some um, bell peppers, some onion, and some red peppers. And what I like to do also is just write, just add a little bit of um, parsley, just a little bit like that. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add our, the remainder of our liquid. The remainder of our liquid and just go to the side and just add it in like that. Turn my stove back up and just keep on adding it. Your liquid. Okay. And then we let it come to a boil. I'm telling you guys, it is nice and very delicious. And you could taste the flavor of the conch. Oh my goodness. And it's nice and tender. And the next thing I will add is, I need, a, you have to have like a little heat. So I will take some of my hot sauce, my Haitian hot sauce. Just take a little spoonful like this. Well, not a spoonful. I don't want it too spicy. And I'm just go ahead and drizzle that on there like that. That should give it a nice kick. Ooh, the hot sauce tastes, smells so good. All right, guys. I'll let it come to a boil for about a minute. It's already cooked. And I'll show you how I serve it. Here is the final product. This is our conch. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely outstanding. The taste of the conch is just amazing. The tenderness of the conch is just awesome. This is a must try. Until next time, please like, uh, comment, and do not forget to subscribe.